what are you keeping in mind right now? And the Buddha said that mindfulness is your governing principle in everything, actually. It's what you're keeping in mind determines how you shape things. So how are you shaping things for what purpose? That's what you're keeping in mind, and that's what's going to determine how the meditation goes. You could be sitting here saying, well, I just want to bliss out, and the mind can just wander all over the place. But if you come with the determination, okay, I'm going to stay with the breath, I'm going to make it comfortable. And if it's not comfortable, I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. That's going to be a very different experience. So each time when you begin to meditate, ask yourself, what am I going to hold in mind while I meditate? It's not just a matter of being open to the present moment. When the Buddha talks about being clear about what's happening in the present moment, being right there in the present moment, it's always in the context of okay, you've got things you've got to do in the present moment. And if you don't do them now, you don't know if you're ever going to get them done, because death could come at any time. That's something else you might want to keep in mind, that you've got this amount of time. So use it well. Don't let it go to waste. Because wasted time can't be brought back. You can't go back and say, well, let's rerun this and then go through it again the next time, do it a lot more skillfully. You've got one chance for right now, so make the best of that one chance for right now. So when mindfulness is the governing principle, make sure you're bringing right mindfulness to the practice. Don't let wrong mindfulness take over. There's a belief that mindfulness is always skillful. And as the Buddha said, mindfulness is always useful. But he's talking about right mindfulness. Wrong mindfulness can really get in the way. Hold in mind that you want a certain pleasure or you want to do something that's really not all that skillful. And if you keep that in mind, it turns into wrong mindfulness, wrong concentration. And you never get the results that you really want. If you really want a true happiness, okay, you've got to keep it right mindfulness in mind. And all the various ways of motivating yourself and all the skills that you need, they have to be there at your fingertips. So that when you need them right now, okay, they're there right now. And you find it's easier the quieter the mind gets. So all these things go together, right mindfulness, right effort, right concentration. That's why the Buddha put them all together as one main section of the path. Because they all need one another. And they all need to be right.